dalawang taon matapos ang groundbreaking ceremony Pangil Bay Bridge, bakit hindi pa rin na itatayo? Ang dahilan ng matagal na pagkakaantala ng 7 bilyong pisong proyekto, panuorin at alamin. Over two years since the groundbreaking ceremony held last November 2018, attended by no less than President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, the Seed Bridge project still nowhere on site. The sentiment of the Mindanawan who highly anticipated the multi-billion peso bridge project was echoed by Lanao del Norte representative Kali Dimapuro on his Facebook page who regularly updates the status of the Pangil Bay Bridge project. The question now, what caused the delays? Well, according to DPWH officials, as relayed by Representative Dimapuro, the enormous setback was brought by the COVID-19 pandemic. It can be remembered that the project was awarded to the joint venture of three major Korean construction firms, Namkwang Kukdom Gumguang Joint Venture Construction. And during the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, travel restrictions were imposed which hindered the mobilization of South Korean expatriates who manages the project construction. Also adding to the delay is the conduct of a more thorough geotechnical investigation. About 23 more borehole test analyses out of the 45 geotechnical tests were needed to be undertaken to ensure reliable reference for the final engineering design of Pangil Bay Bridge project. After it was found out in the initial assessment that the bridge alignment sits next to an active fault line. The result of the onshore and offshore geotechnical investigation as well as bathymetric data from the study of underwater depth of ocean floors is vital to ensure that the Pangil Bay Bridge is built in good foundations. Last year, the geotechnical investigation was fast-tracked by DPWH to acquire necessary data for the final design of the bridge that will connect Tangub City, Misamis Occidental, and Tubod Lanao del Norte. Despite the delays, DPWH has promised that the bridge project will push through. In fact, while construction of the bridge itself has yet to begin, the DPWH is already busy building the access road that will eventually lead to the Pangil Bay Bridge. Located in Tubod Lanao del Norte, the access road appears to have two lanes per direction. There also appears to be a nearby staging construction area where the DPWH could work on launching or building some of the mega bridge components. Meanwhile, offshore construction for bridge supports and foundations is expected to commence in the second quarter of 2021. Just last February, the 170-ton crane barge to be used for offshore construction activities of the Pangil Bay Bridge project has already arrived on site. Also, the first batch of the 3 meter diameter steel casings from South Korea for the Seed Bridge project have arrived and were unloaded from MV Ocean Glory at the baseport of Iligan City last February 25, 2021. The casings will be used for the construction of the bridge support and foundations. With the construction of the Pangil Bay Bridge project now in the initial stages, the Mindanao Development Authority or MINDA has initiated this month the formation of the Infrastructure Monitoring and Advisory Group or IMAG to ensure transparency and accountability in the implementation of the bridge project. IMAG ensures the efficient implementation of the project with the direct involvement of the stakeholders in the area and will include local officials, civic organizations, the Department of Public Works and Highways, religious sector, 
media, and the local stakeholders. The conference was attended by MINDA Chair Manny Pinyol, Misamis Occidental Governor Philip Tan, and other provincial officials met with DPWH engineers, the Korean contractor, and project engineers during a recent visit on site. When completed, the Pangil Bay Bridge, a 3.7 km span costing about 7 billion pesos, will be the longest bridge in Mindanao. Longer by about 1.5 km than the iconic San Juanico Bridge, which spans the 2.2 km San Juanico Strait between the islands of Samar and Leyte. The project is expected to be completed by 2025, three years beyond the promised completion date of 2022. Through the Pangil Bay Bridge, land travel between Tangub City, Misamis Occidental, and Tubud Lanao del Norte is expected to reduce from two and a half hours to just seven minutes. The bridge project is funded by a loan agreement between the government of the Philippines and the government of South Korea through the Korean Export Import Bank. One of the flagship infrastructure projects of the Duterte administration under the Build 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 program, the Pangil Bay Bridge, is a realization of the promise to make Filipinos even more connected by building a mega bridge that will provide convenient inter-island travel in the archipelagic topography of northern Mindanao. What do you think about the update of the Pangil Bay Bridge project? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell.